Hey, it's Erin from Book Things and Bobbles, and today I'm going to show you how to etch on glass using the Glowforge. So I went and visited the DI on Saturday, which is kind of like Goodwill. Basically people take their um, used items and then they're sold at this store for a very discounted price. And I found some glass plates. So here's one of the plates I found. Um, this cost me 75 cents. And so I, after finding this, I decided that I wanted to try etching on glass and on these plates. I know that for a lot of people, um, etching with the Glowforge can be a big money maker. I usually work with wood, but I wanted to try doing glass today. Um, I know in the past, even my mom and my family have, um, gotten gifts or have actually paid someone to etch like a glass pan for them. So if you're looking for ideas of products to make with your Glowforge, I think glass products and etching glass can be a really um, good way to start, especially if you do go to secondhand stores and are able to find like pans or plates or um, maybe some little shot glasses you can do in the Glowforge. Um, you can get them very cheap there, but I'm very excited to try etching on glass today. So let's get started. So I'm going to be engraving on the back side of this plate, so right here. So I am going to put this in the Glowforge and we will get ready to engrave. Okay, so we are gonna put this inside of our Glowforge. I'm just gonna put it here in the middle, but I'm just gonna double check. Some people I've seen take out the bed of the Glowforge to do this, but after watching um, the behind the scenes Glowforge video of when they did um, a small shot glass, I think that this should be just fine and that I won't have any problems with it. Okay, so I did decide to end up taking out the bed of the Glowforge. So, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to find something that I can place under my plate to raise it up to roughly, um, so that this surface is roughly where the bed of the Glowforge um, top usually sits. Okay, so I found some magnets that I just stacked up to roughly the same height as the Glowforge. So now I think I should be able to just to set the thickness of the material to um, like 0.25 inches and that it should um, be able to focus the Glowforge and that the laser should be able to do its job. Okay, we are ready to start this print, but first I'm going to grab my laser glasses to put on over my regular glasses, because if you saw my tile engraving video, um, tile is super bright to engrave on, and I kind of imagine that glass is going to be really bright to engrave on as well, so I definitely want to wear these to prevent any eye damage. I'll link them down below, so if you don't have laser glasses, you can get the same as me. You want to know what I got halfway through that print and realized? That I forgot to flip the text. Sure, this looks great from the back, but then as soon as you flip it over, it's backwards. <laughs> it's a good thing I bought two plates when I went to the store, because you know me, I always have to mess something up. Okay, second plate is in, and we are ready to try this again. Okay. 
Okay, let's take this thing out and have a look. First of all, it looks so much better with <laughs> it facing the right way, but I am very, very happy with how that turned out. I've never etched glass before, and I was a little bit worried about doing it, but this actually just looks so good. And the nice thing about working with an etching glass is that this etching is never gonna come off of this. Like, they can wash it, they can um, scrub, you know, stuff off of it, but that etching is just not going anywhere. And so I am quite pleased with that. So that was a lot easier and faster than I even thought. Um, it's definitely faster than even etching on wood. Um, wood tends to take a lot of time to etch. Tile takes a lot of time to etch because it takes a lot of power. But this was super quick. That took four minutes for me to engrave that plate. And so I think that this is something that I might look into starting to offer in my shop is some glass etched... Um, like plateware and casserole dishes and things like that. So that's something that you might want to consider too. Um, I think buying glass like in the like home goods store and stuff can be kind of expensive. But like I said, I got these plates for 75 cents at the DI or Goodwill. And you can also find new plates and new dishes, new casserole dishes at Dollar Tree. So that might be what I do next week is go shopping at Dollar Tree and see what materials I can find to print on with the Glowforge. But I'm quite pleased with this and how this turned out. I'm excited to show people because <laughs> I think it looks super cool. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you haven't tried etching on glass with your Glowforge, hopefully this will inspire you to do that. Or if you haven't bought a Glowforge yet, hopefully this inspires you to think, oh, maybe the Glowforge is kind of cool. Maybe I should get one. If you are looking into getting a Glowforge, I would really appreciate it if you used my referral link down below. This gives you credits off of a Glowforge and it also gives me credits, which really help me out and help me with my business. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Glowforge, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer questions. And um, if you have any ideas for videos you would like to see me make in the future, please leave those down below as well. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. I make these videos about the Glowforge every single Wednesday, and I would love to have you join me. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.